Hello. Good morning, people. It's Thursday, 9 o'clock in the morning. And I tell you guys I'm going to be getting some new tools in to work out with. I got this yesterday. It wasn't supposed to show up until Friday, but anyways, it showed up. And this is a Pilates ring. You know how it works. And I got it for less than 15 bucks, I think it was. So we're going to use this work any way possible. So what we're going to do is a little bit of stretching right now with it. And we're going back up. I have my both braces on. I got my ankle and my knee brace on today. I'm going to go ahead and take the knee brace off in a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and do the Pilates thing sitting down. Which is going to build your inner leg strength. Inner thigh strength. I'm a little bit sore from yesterday. I, I did a workout yesterday. I went to physical therapy yesterday. And I do have a physical therapy tomorrow. But I'm, I told you I was going to be doing this for you guys. Every other day. I'm doing it for myself too. But I'm going to be doing it for you guys. I want to stay motivated. Keep you guys motivated out there. So we're going to go ahead and put this, hold our hands together on this. Any way possible, okay? I'm not sure what exactly this is made out of, but it's kind of flexible, but it's, a little, it's too hard for me to push with my hands. See, I can do a little bit, but we're going to go ahead and use this today. We're just going to break it in a little bit. One. I think we're going to go ahead and start off with some regular stretching first. Because I'm a little bit tensed up. Let's try to flex what we always do, okay? Put our hands together in prayer position. Sorry I didn't throw a little prayer on Monday, but that's that's myself doing my own thing. You guys could do it too or not. It's all to you. I'm not trying to get religious on you guys like I tell you. But I pray that I do good today and provide you guys some information. Bring you guys some value, and I hope I, I'm getting through to some people, and I appreciate that. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Please watch out. Please watch over me and my dog, Pee, my family. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Since we got a hand together like that, let's go ahead and um, twist the wrist a little bit. Do the best you can. Just go ahead and get a little bit of movement going. Yes, my wrist is clicking a lot right now. If it was very quiet, you could hear it just going tick, tick, tick. But unfortunately, you'll hear the noise here. Okay, hands together. One, two, three, four, five. Like I said, every time you go up higher, every time you want to go up a little higher each time, okay? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But you got to keep doing these exercises day, every day, as much as you can. Stretching is very critical in your recovery. And I'm sure you guys know that. But the more you do, the better it's going to be for you. Please understand that. You just got to do it every day. Either you do it with me or you do it by yourself. Just do it. Find, find it in yourself to just get up and do something, please. You got to do this. Okay, we're going to do this one more time, okay? We're going to hold it up for like a few seconds every time we hold it to the top, okay? No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One. One. Two. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. And these are going to help out with the shoulder, you know. I'm sure you guys, when you guys had your stroke, your effective side is just, you need to stretch out. You just need to stretch out. You got to do this over and over again. You got to get the body moving. I'm not shaking too bad today, but that's because I did a race of stretches when I got up this morning. First thing I could do in the morning is I try to stretch out, just light stretches, hands together like what I'm doing right now. I just try to do like circles. You've seen me do those before. And try to touch my toes a little bit. Just just get the, the body flowing, get the blood flowing in the body. Try to get the, I, I'm not sure if this is true or not, but I believe getting up in the morning and doing some exercise to get the stretching going, it sends narrow, narrow passages to your, um, to your brain and stuff. And then do it some periodically throughout the day and try to do it before you go to sleep at night. The stretching too. That way your body gets used to it. I'm hoping these things are working for you guys, all these exercises. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of stretching because I'm going to be doing some of the leg things with the 2x4. With the but for now, let's go ahead and do some toe stretches, okay? This is going to help out with the hamstrings. And this is PB right here. Hi, PB. This is when you hear barking in my background, in the background noises. Hi, PB. Yeah. Okay, back to the toe touching. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six. One, two, three, four, Go get on the towel. Okay, now that we're a little bit more stretched out and stuff, we're going to go and try to use that Pilates ring, okay? Try to grip it any way possible. Oh, 
I'm going to go ahead and grip it like on the other side, on the non-grip side, I guess. It's got some like rubbery stuff on it. I don't know, it's got like a hard band inside of it. Let's try to just get movement going, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. You can get these like on um, Amazon or you can get them on um, Walmart.com. And I believe this is going to help out with a lot of different things. And basically what that was doing is just twisting the wrist and just learn how to keep a grip on things, okay? So I'm sure if you guys had a stroke, you guys have problems holding stuff. If you remember the other day when I did my video, my hand was shaking in the video. You guys saw that. Some days are better than others. But you remember, you got to find the motivation to keep doing this. And I'm hoping that these videos are helping you do that. And I appreciate you guys watching my videos. If you can, hit the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. And try to hit the notification thing so when I come up with the videos, I'm trying to do them every other day for you guys, okay? Whether you like them or not. <laughs> I'm going to do it because I am getting through to a couple of you people and I appreciate that but either way even if I only have one person I'm doing it for I'm doing it for some one person besides myself that'll be two <laughs> but the more I get out there the more maybe we can, I can help out other people too one two three Four, five. Don't ask me why I'm moving around like I'm dancing. It's not a hula ring. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I started doing that again almost. Let's try to put this, our hands like this on the outsides again. Now that we've stretched out a little bit, let's, let's go above the head okay, with this, okay? You could do it with the cane. You could do it with the whatever you want or a broomstick. Whatever you can find around the house, a curtain rod or whatever. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know what's going on there, but it seemed like it was way more difficult. Maybe because of my hands out a little bit. You want to start doing things a little bit. Get out of your comfort zone with this stuff, okay? Like I said at the beginning of my videos, which I didn't do today, make sure you have a water, your phone, a cane. I left my cane in sight. I should have it with me, but I don't. Some days I feel more confident than others. Some days I don't. I'm going to go use a 2 by 4 I'm going to put this down here. And remember what we did with these ones before, remember? We just want to be a, a little bit above, like a couple of inches up. You want to get this leg to swing out, back and forth. You want to get it to loosen up. Okay. One, two, three. Six, seven, eight, 
in. It's gonna relieve some pressure too. It helps out. And I'm only like I'm only size of two by four, which is really not two inches. It's only gonna be an inch and a half or an inch and three quarters. But it's enough to clear your foot, okay? When you do this, you wanna to try to get out as far as you can backwards comfortably and make sure you're safe doing it, okay? Because you will feel like you're gonna lose your balance. You can lose your balance. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that's two sets of ten, okay? I should be doing my other side too, but I'm just trying to loosen up my stiff side. I did do physical therapy yesterday. Okay, we're going to go back over here to the chair. I'm going to take my knee brace off. Okay, you guys can see me from there? Good. So what we're gonna do here, since it has these little things on the side, you can put them on your inner thighs. It'll be the same same effect as using the, the blue ball. Try to get your foot in a good position down here where you're stable. Put this between your legs. Then what you wanna do is basically it's like a thigh master. And do it as close as you can. You want to pinch your legs as close as hard as you can together. Release. Hold it there for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Release. One, two, three, four, five. Release. Two. One, two, three, four, five. Release. Three. One, two, three, four, five. Release. Four. Yes, my hands, have, it just wants to curl up. Anytime you're doing anything a little bit tense, I'm sure that's what happens. But let's keep going here. One, two, three. See how my leg wants to kick up? It's a little bit on the hard side to do, but we got to get out of our comfort zone, okay? Can't be doing everything. Everything can't be easy because otherwise, how are you going to progress? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release. And you don't got a whole bunch of resistance. I would say five, that's about maybe 10 pounds, maybe 15 pounds, maybe more, I'm not sure. I'm sure the closer you get, it, it's harder because I'm putting all my weight on it. I, I can't bottom them out. Let's go ahead and do one more set. Make sure you keep your foot planted, okay? So when you're doing this, try to put more weight on your affected side because it's gonna want to slip out like what, what you seen it do at the beginning. And you can put it in any position you want right here. You just want to do the clamshell thing, closing your leg, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four. One, two. Oops, there goes my foot. That's what I'm talking about. See? Put this back in. Continue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
nine, ten, four. Ten. I might have lost count on there. If you guys were following me, I'm sure I messed up a couple of times. But you understand what I'm trying to do? And since I don't have my knee brace on, let's go ahead and um, I call them the can smashers, but they're called marching. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go with the good leg first. Pee wee. Pee wee, stop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, I'm a little bit on the same side over here. Pee stop, please. Go over here, go over again. Pee Wee, come here. Go over here, go over here. Go over here, go over here. Good job, good job. Sorry about that, people. She wanted to be in the in the video, or she wanted to be heard in the video. And as you can tell, when I'm doing these, that my hand just wants to, I get clenched up. You're gonna realize that when you're doing your exercises, that your practice center always wants to like clench up. Okay, let's go ahead and do one more set. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. See what I mean by how it wants to come up? I'm not even thinking about it. Just when you're trying, it tenses up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this back on for now. I do not want to fall. I don't have my cane with me. But leave a comment and let me know where, you're, where you guys are at in your... Um, and your recovery and then tomorrow I should begin the rest of my my other stuff I invested like I tell you I invested in myself the massage therapy bed thing did not work out it was too narrow it was too high which makes it dangerous to put your braces on and off at least for me I'm short I used to be seven foot something now I'm not I'm only five foot something Kidding. I'm short and that's all there is to it. All right. See how I'm all tensed up again? Look at you. Oh, you're close to the wall here. I just wanted to do this video today just to get you guys stretched out, stress myself out. Not stress out. I'm going to try to be stress free Thursday today. But let's put the hands together because it obviously is. I'm not stressed out enough yet. Okay. You guys probably noticed this stain on my arm. I went and got blood work done. 
trying to figure out all the stuff because my blood pressure is down really good. Hopefully they get me off some of my medication. I am doing better with my diet. I know I look like I probably gained more weight than I lost weight, but I'm working on it. Everything's a work in progress. All right, let's get this. Put our hands together, just interlace the fingers, twist the wrist a little bit. Just go to see, it's stiff. And just keep twisting the wrist back and forth. It's a little bit frustrating at times because I want to do other things, but the side tracks me in my head because I'm trying to, this is not what I was planning on doing, but you got to do it no matter what, okay? So you want to put your fingers together. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with me today. I'm feeling very um, stiff. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and end this video today. I just wanted to show you guys about the Pilates ring and how you get, there's many uses for it. And remember, if you don't got that, use whatever you got around the house. Get a ball, get a bucket, get a water bottle. And try to always carry something in your affected site. Get a stress ball. Get anything you can. Get a broomstick. Get a gallon of milk, or you know, a gallon, or even a laundry detergent thing. Just empty it out, or get an empty one, and then um, put water in there until you feel comfortable with it. And just start doing some exercises. Because you eventually want to be able to use your your affected say. I'm sorry I'm looking like a goof today, but I probably look like a goof every day, but I'm looking more goofier than ever. I'm just trying to get, show you guys anything that's possible, okay? And just do something, okay? Even if you ain't doing very much, do one more thing than you did the day before, okay? You guys have a great day. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, leave a comment. Appreciate it.